good, very fine, great. How has been a camp activity for the week? Very, very great and at the same time stressful too. Stressful in what way? Stre stressful. I don't know how to explain that. Really? Yes. But I think the the fun part and the great part is bigger. Mm. Stressful in the sense that because now we've moved to our penthouse and we've done expansion. So group B, I mean group B, we need to you need to carry your drinkers from outside down to the middle um, the middle group and you have to pass through group A and all that is stressful before you carry one go back home back carry one so that is the that th is the nature of the job there yes that should be stressful for you that should be fun for you it's fun as i said it's fun and stressful How has been your mind grooming sessions <laughs> there is progress it's a nice process really yes what is happening in your house for now nothing in the morning, we go to poetry, go to dining, come back. If we have books to read, we read or sleep, we go back for two, uh, go to uh, lectures, then come back. Just that nothing really special. One word for Frank Peniel. Huh? A word for Frank Peniel. Okay, I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to tell Frank Peniel thank you because they are really doing a very great job bringing nine girls together, making these nine girls to learn about each other, to bring out ideas there, to acquire skills is very good. Because I know after this process, now after this process, uh, the nine girls will benefit from it and it will go a long way, at least trying to make uh, young girls to be entrepreneurs at this very early age is very nice. Taxi. So. Nice is having you at the daily session. Thank you, sir. See you next week. Thank you. This um, past week has been really, really hectic for you. And the fishery, the poultry. And first of all, how is your belt? Your babies, how are they doing? They are doing great. Any mortality so far? No, sir. When are we expecting to start eating in the first one? <laughs> okay. Who among your um, contestants do you see or do you think as one of the greatest survivors in you clinching the crown as the winner of this competition? I don't know yet, so. Uh This is the fifth week, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's sixth week. Sixth week, and still yet you don't know who is your greatest survivor in this competition. I don't know. Anybody can win the game. Even you, you are not sure of yourself. And I am sh I'm sure of myself. I can win the game. Anybody among us can but win the game. But there should be somebody that you think is leading the picks for each and every one of you. I can't say that one now because we, they are doing everything according to the points. So I can't tell that this person will be a winner until that day. Okay, which among your contestants do you see as the most annoying one? None of them, sir. None of, your, none of them is annoying? No. Alaba, feel free, talk to us. Let's start. None of them, sir. None of them. Are you sure? Yes. Um, the Ask Captain, uh, what can you say about her? She's doing fine and she's doing her job very well. Are you sure about that? Yes. Over the week, nothing happened in the house. No, no fight. No fight. Are you sure about that? Yes, everything went well through our last week. Okay. If that is all for now, you okay. can leave us. Thank you, sir. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. I don't like this smile. I just smile like. Uh, I think you, you are making it smile for us. Okay. Okay. How has been the camp for the last one week? 
2005. Sure. Yes. What was the latest happening in camp? Nothing really much, just um, farm activities and slash the fishery activities. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about the fishery activity. How has it been? Uh, it has been cool. Like this week, we did more of the sorting out of fishes. Like two of two customers came to buy fingerling and um, juvenile fish. So we actually removed um, the outlets of the pond and we brought out the fishes out then we sorted them out we sorted out the big one like the the grower we sorted out the juvenile so that the finger names like you're taking more of the fishery class and the poultry class now i just started getting used to the fishery okay um, between the fishery and the poultry now if you want to choose i think you're going to choose um, the poultry or the fishery the poultry why not the fishery? I'm not really, I would like it, like, I'm not too really vast in the fishery stuff, and it seems it's kind of harder than the poultry. Are you trying to tell me that? You just need to have more knowledge in that fishery before you go into it. Are you running away from the ethic work, or you are just trying to, like, protect yourself? I'm trying to protect myself, not for the ethic work. I don't want to go and form you. They only tell me I'm lazy, girl. It's not about lazy. <laughs> I think I prefer, and apart from that, I think I prefer the poultry because it's more easier and it makes more money. There's more profit in it than the fishery to me. You are saying the same thing. I am only from the work at the <laughs> fishery department. There is still work in the poultry. There is still work in the poultry. Really? Yes. Okay, um, back to camp and back to your hostel. What was happening in your hostel? It was the latest gist. There's no new latest gist in the hostel. No more things, girl stuff. You call where you said to. I heard there was two fighting last week. Two fighting? Yeah, so many harsh words were being said between two contestants. You said you heard? Yep. I don't know, maybe. I, I, I can't tell. Who are the two people that. That is what I'm asking, so you can tell me. Can last you? week. Last week. I can't remember who fighting. Like, sh is it exchanging blows no, or just exchanging words? Fighting with their mouth. Um, oh, God, I, I cannot remember if two people actually quarreled. But the only person, the only person I know quarreled was, was, it was last week, it was last two weeks, actually. It was just a misunderstanding between Faith and um, Esther. I don't really know what they are because I've given up on them, so it's none of my business. What happened giving up on them? They, they don't really understand each other, so I don't put my mouth in their issues anymore. Mm, mm. Really? Mm. Okay. Um, among the contestants, which of them do you see as the biggest rival in you winning the trophy, winning the can, winning the competition? I don't feel anybody is a rival to me. So you are number one and. Everything about it is just you alone. Yes, I'm unique in my own way. So is everybody. Sure. So yes, I'm unique in my own way. So is everyone. So if in a competition you don't even expect that maybe this particular person might win, even if the person is coming or the person have a good score in the farm activities and stuff like that, is even the least person that you expect that might even win. And who is that least person? I don't know. Man? Maybe the person you might. You don't even think you might win, but that was the person that will win. So I'm not really putting on my mind on that. I just put up my mind on God. If He says I'm going to win, fine. I'm doing my best to be successful. Who is the man most annoying contestant? <laughs> okay, should I tell you the most annoying contestant? Yes. <laughs> In what way, sorry? In how you define annoying to you. Sometimes people can be annoying, sometimes they can be joyful. So I can't say this particular person is annoying. Sometimes everybody pick on each other. So I can't say this person is annoying. But there must be one person that normally like when you ah, this guy is so annoying. A lot of people annoy me in that house. Ah, a lot of people, a lot of people I know, maybe sometimes with the way they talk and so 
I can't really say this particular person is the most annoying. Even my own close friend, sometimes she can be annoying. Really? Yes. Who is, but, your, who is your best spy in the house? My close spy, everybody knows Stephanie. I don't know. Okay, Stephanie. So, anybody, even she, sometimes she can be annoying. Sometimes we have our own clash. But there must be one person that is more annoying than others. The only person I know I'm very close to is Stephanie and then um, Petulia. See, gradually I'm actually close to um, Itesi now. So, the rest of them, I'm not all that close to them. But if I can say anybody that's actually annoying the house, normally who doesn't really take things easy with people, is Esther. I won't, I won't say that she's that annoying, but I would like to say, like, she loves taking things personal. So, and when she starts saying, she just starts shouting, talking, and that's all. You just want to understand her and just, just like, just, just leave her. Um, she's your ass captain that's just ended. Yes. Us, and how was it like? It was okay. Was she able to manage the ass properly? Yes, she did. She did. She tried. She did the best. We show one to five. What will you score her? Four. Mm, that is excellent. Yes. Uh, anything that you want to let us know, anything you want to talk to, to us about what is happening in the house and stuff like that? In the house? Yes. There's something you want, there's a message, there's something you want to tell us, something. Feel free to talk to us. I don't really have anything to say in the house, but I just have things to say generally. Okay, generally. Open yes. Up. Talk to us. I just want to thank Fempino and the crew members, ETL Women Initiative, for this good privilege they've given to me. I've never had this opportunity. You know, after service, I was actually thinking, what next? I didn't have, I was like, okay, you know, these days now in Nigeria, I find it difficult to get a job. I was applying for jobs and nothing is coming up and looking for me to start a business, no money. So this opportunity just came up like that. And although it wasn't really easy at first, I didn't have the idea that this is what I'm going to do because I've never ever liked a week right from way, right from way back in school but I just have to like okay I didn't expect this and it just came up so I think I just have to sit tight and try to know why I came here so I'm just so excited for the creator for this opportunity and the management too I'm just so excited for this and I'm just words. praying that God will bless them Richly, in One Jesus word from Penny, yeah? They are the best. They are cool, and I love them. It's nice having you around. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Fine. How's been your day? Fine. And how's been your week? Fine. You sure? Yeah. What has been happening in camp? Normal works we are doing, go to the poetry house, fishing, practicals, and the rest. Just that? Yeah. Let's talk more about the fishing. Have you seen it? Mm. It's nice, Chang. I love doing the practicals, especially the sortie. I just like it. Between the fishery and the poetry, which is your favorite right now? Mm, right now, I prefer the poetry. Let me start from the poetry. Why? Um, actually, the way I'm seeing the fishing, it will take me much time to... I need more lecture on it. The poetry, I understand more than the fishing, so I need to go into the poetry later I can. Mm. What has been happening in your camp, in your hostel? Mm. Nothing but just my fellow contestant is sick. Nothing much. How is her now? She's getting better now. Really? Yeah. Um, Debra, uh, talk to us. Have one word for Frame Penny on. 
question. One word for frame penion. One word. Okay. I really appreciate frame penion. I'm so grateful to them for all they have done for me so far. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> for now. Okay, it's nice talking with you. All right, thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good. Sure? Yes, I'm good. How has it been? Very well, sir. How has it been the camp activities? It's been awesome. Talk, talk, talk. Open up, talk to us. The fine is a great experience being in camp. Has been the fishery practicals and lectures. Very fine. What has been the experience so far in that department? Sorry? What has been your experience so far in the fishery department? Okay. I think um, formally I do not know stage of uh, fishes. Now I know when you spawn and um, allow it to the following days and you get your fries. From the fries you get your fingernail. From the fingernail you get your top fingernail. And the, the, the lava. I think I you know names of the stages of uh, fishes now. You are enjoying the fishery classes and particles and the poultry now? Yes, I'm enjoying them. At least you can touch the fishes. But for the chicks, you can't touch them. Why? I do. I do. Back to the poultry. How are your beds? They do well. Any mortality? No mortality. Why? <laughs> we'll be careful. We'll be yeah. very careful at least. Give them medication before they fall sick. But I wanted to see some mortality. Ah. <laughs> has been your fellow contestant? Has been your camp, your host there? What's happening over there? Nothing is happening. Everybody's fine. Sure? So, yes. Yeah. Mm, Doris, Sir. for some time now you have been looking, I feel like you've been looking wet or looking tired. Hope you are okay. Um, I'm not really looking tired though. You look at me, it is my nature. And that's, that has been my nature. Although I play, but not to an extent. You understand? And I like um, not really moving with a gang, you understand? I like being alone and... Okay, uh, from what you just said, there's, like, there's a gang in the camp. Not really gang, you know, maybe as you're going, maybe you're, you're following content, content fans, you might you like um, moving with them. Most times I move with them, not really I am, I am putting a... Oh, what, what would I say? But I move with them most times. But most times, I like being on my own thing. I've been in gloomy sections. I heard you guys had some gloomy sessions some few days. How's it been? I didn't get it. I heard you guys had some gloomy sections for some few days. How's it been? Oh. It has been fine. Oh, everybody, I will be sorry for cashing up. We are trying. At least on our own. We are trying. Who is not the chief aerobic master? <laughs> Anyone can be the chief. Anybody. Anybody can just wake up in the morning and start the aerobics. Yes. Okay. Um, among your fellow contestants, there should be one person that sounds so annoying or irritating to you. Is there anybody? Nobody like that. Are you sure? Yes. 
every one of us looked like my sister. Like I earlier said, I left home, I met another home here. You can see all of us corporate, even at the diner. We do corporate, we talk, we share things together, we eat. Maybe this person will get something that every other person would like to eat. So that's how we've been living. Are you sure? Yes. If you eventually become the winner of this competition, what will you do with the star prize? Um, yeah. Uh, already I've been planning. I've been planning, yes, and to start up. I start up agriculture fully. Yeah. I started up fully as in the poultry and the fishery because I love the two. I love the two. Don't you think the capital will not be there for you to start both of them? Oh yeah, it, it depends on planning and management. You can do it. How do you tend to manage it? Yeah, like me, I think uh, we have a plot of land. Yes, as in constructing the poultry, that wouldn't take me much. Purchasing the the bed, the chicks, at least, say so like 150 or 200, that wouldn't take you much. I know where the where you have challenges is the feed, the feed and medication. Because you ought to get the number of fish they feed you need. Okay, like what you tell him that you are prepared to start up a poultry farm? Yes. How many pieces preparation are you now? Sorry? How prepared are you? I am prepared. As soon as I go home, no matter the little I have, I could start in a, a low level. That has been my plan. That's, that sounds so interesting. Mm, one word for Frem Penion. Sir? A word to Frem Penion. Oh, I am grateful for Frem Penion for making me be part of this competition. At least they taught me a lot I don't know today. I mix up with people that is enlightening. At least I acquire knowledge today. I think I'm very ha happy. And I'm grateful. Is that all you have to say? Thank you. Thank you to Femme Penny. And God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to the dive section. Thank you, sir. Your favorite section? Yes. Let's talk. What are they happening in camp? Nothing much. It's been fun. It's been hectic. It's been, um, it's been tasking. And it's been educative, it's been, um, been creating memories, and it's been fun. Mm, let's talk more about the memories. Okay. What are they happening regarding that aspect? No, the things, I'm uh, creating memories, the things I'm going to remember this program for, the things that I remember everybody for, as in, it's been fun. Things That's like what I said. What? All the activities on the farm. Everybody individually and collectively. So those are the okay. things that let's talk about the individuality. Oh god. Starting from the top. Okay. Start naming them and all you remember them for. No, I can't really pinpoint, but maybe when a question calls for it then I'll be remembering. But for now I can't really pinpoint. But so many things to remember, maybe when we are out of this place. Yeah, what has happening in the farm? Let's go to the farm. Farm has been fun. We've been having fun. It's been interesting. And we've been learning. Any mortality yet? No. Why? God did not allow that one to happen. Why? Okay, because God has been helping us to be careful enough. And we have the best um, instructor to give us order to follow. What about the fishery? Yes. No mortality, we'll be learning in that aspect too. And we've been seeing all the all the opportunities that lies in that session. Between the poetry and the fishery, which is your best section now? I'll go for the both. I'll go for the both, but one comes first. And which is poetry. Why? 
it depends on if I, I didn't win, which I know that that's not possible. If I didn't win the grand prize, then I'll go for the poetry alone. And if I win the grand prize, I'll, I'll do the both. Like you're telling me that you're already seeing yourself as... I know I'm always a winner. So a winner I'll be everywhere I go. How do you tend to manage the resources if actually you become the winner? It's not my power, it's God is going to help me out. And I know I'm, I'm gathering knowledge to help me. I'm gathering knowledge to go about it. Are you sure? Yes. You can manage your resources? Yes, I can. Let's, let's talk about um, your house, okay. your camp. What has been happening over there? House. House has been fun. It's, it has been, it's been fun having every other contestant around. And I've been loving every moment of it. Who is that um, most annoying member of the house? Everybody is annoying. There's no body specifically that is most annoying. Everybody is annoying in the sense that the jokes we do, the play and everything. So there's nobody that is specifically annoying. Everybody's annoying and everybody makes me happy too. There must be somebody among everybody. Nobody drives me crazy. Everybody makes me happy. Nobody so, drives you crazy. Nobody. Everybody makes you happy. Everybody makes me happy and everybody drives me crazy too. Not crazy, crazy, like crazy in the sense that you don't expect some things and it's just fun. Not like getting angry. But it's been fun. Sure about that. Yes, I am. Back to the future. Okay. I heard you guys were taught about the sponge, the lava, and so on and so forth. Yeah, we did sponging. That was two weeks ago. But last week, we did sorting. We, we, we um, were able to identify the fingerlings, the post fingerlings, juvenile, and the um, yeah, fingerlings, post fingerlings, juvenile. Out then, we were able to, we were raising the fries along with the um, f um, fishery instructor. And today we get to transfer the fries to their, to their permanent pond from the hatchery to the pond today. Sounds so interesting and a whole lot of ah, It was very interesting. It brain tasking. At the beginning of it, when I saw that the fishes were small, you can't just hold them. I was asking the instructor, what are we going to do so that everything will come out? Then it was not like, we don't know where we get there, we're going to know what to do. So I was just thinking that what can be done? I didn't, I didn't even know what was going to ask me. They just asked me. Then he just asked me, okay, what do you think we could do? do? I said, we're going to get water and flush them. And I said, okay, go and get water. And I went to get water and I started flushing. So the fishes were able to go out from the archery. Then we transferred it to the pond. Mm, like you said, it's brain Storming. tasking. Brain tasking. Really interesting. Now you have nine contestants and, and you are one person that you already started to see yourself as a winner. But there's one that one person in here that you see, ah, this person is a potential winner. There's somebody like that. Yeah, everybody's a winner. They just, they just help me to, to come up more, there's one to be more. It, 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 yes, everybody's a potential winner. Everybody is a potential winner. There is a person, like one person, a very great survivor, like this person, the way this person is going, if I don't become the winner, she might become the winner. Is there anybody like that in the house? Yes, definitely. And who is the person? Plenty of them. Plenty. I just need a name. I really can't name one person because I see one person as a potential winner. I see everybody as a potential winner. Everybody's trying their best. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. If there's one thing you want to talk to the management about, Nothing. any favor you want to beg from the management? No, 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 no. There's no favor at all. Are you sure? Yes. One word for friend Penny. Okay, one favor that I would like to beg is that maybe we should stop eating yam and egg because it makes me purge. And like, throughout yesterday, I didn't get myself. I felt like chewing up. So, I'd, it was not fun at all. Okay, I, I prefer yam and yam and maybe palm oil and they give us egg as a source of protein. But yam and egg, oh God, it makes me purge. One word to Frempreneur. Thank you, Frempreneur. You've been, as in, the, this program has been very educative to me. I've been learning a lot. 
I really want to appreciate Fempreneur for this opportunity. I'm very glad and I'm happy that I'm in it. Thank you, Fempreneur. You are welcome. See you next week. All right, thank you. How has been the camp activity so far? So far? It's been very nice. It's been tasking, really tasking, like from the onset till now. It's been tasking, it's been exciting, it's been scary sometimes. Overall, it's been very nice. Mm. It's been scary sometimes. Let's talk about this scary <laughs> Well, maybe when you, or uh, when we have some kind of tasks that we, it's just, sometimes it's just a bit scary now. But we get comfortable afterwards, it's just the onset. So, generally, it's been very fine. Thank God for that. I've been the mind grooming section. Mind grooming section, ah, it was really nice. So, I never knew I could sit and travel. <laughs> it was really nice. It made me think of a lot of things. It was, re it was really nice, very nice. Yeah. I wish it continued. Yeah, you travel too. I travel to my future. Mm, I want to talk about your future. Yes. Okay, um, as a farmer or what? You don't want to go into farming? My future as Stephanie, as an entrepreneur, as an interesting person that, that I am. My future generally, yes. And as a fresh graduate too. Okay, what are they happening in the camp you're posted? And when we have time to gist, we just gist girls' things and we talk about the farm too. There are a lot of very intelligent and very intelligent and intellectually sound person. So we just talk at random. I heard there was um, some kind of Mouth talk in the house between some contestants. Mouth talk? Yeah. Sorry, please, mouth talk. Can you explain? Um, let me see. Quarrel between two contestants over the week. Um, if there was a quarrel between two contestants and it wasn't today or yesterday, I cannot remember. Okay. Except, except I am reminded about it because I'm bad at remembering those kind of stuff. Really? Something happened yesterday? No, that's what I'm telling you, that if it wasn't yesterday or today, then it would be very difficult. It's just very blurry. Don't okay, let's go to the history department. How have you seen, how has it been over there? It's been really nice, live action. You see the fishes swimming, and then I got to touch a lot of them. At first, I thought it would be, it would bite, so it, but it was very nice. It's like it kind of massages, the palms. That's been very nice. We've been through practicals over the week. Practicals, we started with artificial spawning. Okay, that was two weeks ago. Over this week, we did sorting. We knew or we saw the different stages. So it's been really nice. Like I would always say, I'm a very practical person, so I enjoy practicals a lot. So it's been really nice. Between the poultry and the fish farming, which is your favorite right now? I love the poultry. Choose one. Okay, if I should choose one, I would definitely choose the poultry. Why? Because um, for the poultry, we got the practical first hand, like from the onset. And then with what I know about it, the rate of returns and everything, with, I just really love the poultry more. But my preference might change. But as of this weekend, I love the poultry more. And when I say my preference might change, I might love the two equally. But my love for poultry supersedes the fishery. One word for Fempreneur. One word. I have, as in, I have a lot of words for Fempreneur. Okay. First of all, this is the best thing that could have ever happened to me. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes, and um. Very grateful. Since I have known what a reality TV show is, this is the first that I know is really very educative. And anybody that has the chance to be here, 
In fact, I want all my loved ones to be here. Everybody I love must be here because it's the best thing that ever happened to me as a young lady, as a fresh graduate, and as a human being generally. Because with what Fempreneur has taught me about agriculture, about morals too, about patience, about endurance and tolerance, everybody needs to just learn these things and get into learn it for free i'm really very grateful Fempreneur is everything thank you Mr. thank you see you next week all right thank you good evening sir how are you i'm fine thank you sir how's been your day you've been fine sir and the week wonderful what's been happening in the farm and in your hostel well, um, a lot has been happening in the farm, carrying on the brooding care to the birds, and um, giving them medications, feeding them, and changing the wood shavings is quite interesting. Same as the, um, the hostel, you're fine, you're doing well there. What about the future department? Mm -hmm. It's also fine, thank God for that, because we've been going um, for classes and um, carrying on some practicals as well. Um, what kind of practicals are you carrying? Um, sorting the fishes, sorting them to their various stages. Is that all? Yeah, After, outside the lecture, um, lecture class. Mm. Back to the poetry. Okay. Any mortality yet? We only had previous mortality, which is one. It has been the previous one, one mortality, but since then, no more. We have not had any mortality. Has the bed been? They're fine. They're growing well. They're and, they're ready to, and they're ready for consumption? Yes, yes. Most of them, they're big, and I think they can be consumed. Really? Yes. Are you sure? They are yes. For consumption? Yes. What you are telling us that we should come to the poultry can start consuming the birds? Mm, yes. We still we have some sizes that are good to eat. They are good to eat. Okay. One word of Fempreneur. I'll say a very big thank you to Fempreneur. Yeah, um, Fempreneur is wonderful. They've actually paved way to some people, which I'm lucky to be one of them, and I'm very grateful to Fempreneur. Is that all you have to say? And I pray that God will continue to uplift them, all those involved in Fempreneur, and also give them more grace to carry on this task ahead and give them many more years. My prayer is for good for them. Mm, Faith. Sir. Nice having you. Sir. Nice having you around for the day reception. Okay. Thank you, sir. See you next week. Thank you, sir. How's it been? Fine, thank you, sir. How's it been the week? Fine. Everything is fine. Has been in camp activities for you? Okay. Been um, be tasking, but we are sure coping because it's a learning process. That's what we came here for, and we're really going along with that. Has been the fishery department and the poultry. Department. Oh, exciting! we and interesting. We've been doing a whole lot, and um, the last session we had was the sorting sessions, where we were able to sort out um, the fingerlings, the post fingerlings, and um, the juvenile. Somewhere on the week, and um, we were told that you guys have some mind grooming section. Some what? Sorry. Mind grooming section. Okay. Has been the classic so far. Oh, okay. That actually reminded us of what we were actually here for, and um, to actually build our minds and um, thoughts about what um, our plans are for the future. 
especially if you have to use your mind to think and um, to reactivate um, your mind to what you need to achieve, basically. So it's been a, remind, a reminder for me as a person because it, ha it actually taught me how to sit back, think of what I need to do for myself. Sometimes, or most times, put them into writing, knowing that our brains are not computer, you know. And then it also reminded me that um, when you go on with life activities, you should also be able to bring back yourself and ask yourself, place a judgment on yourself, am I actually doing well or not? From what you're saying, that has been a whole lot of success. Yes, sure. And it has imparted so much in you? It has, really. And um, imagine yourself being the winner of Film Premier Reality TV Show Season 1. What are you going to do with the seed capital? Mm -hmm. Interesting question. I've actually laid some strategies and um, been pondering and writing a whole lot of things I intend to do. Number one, when I came here, I saw it as, as a dream come true because where I come from, I've actually um, be, been anticipating to go into the agri sector. And so when I was told about this, I told myself, yes, this is a dream come true. So when I came here, I had to tell myself, girl, you're in for business. And so it's been a tax king one. But then I also told myself that if I eventually become the winner, which I am also working towards, I should be able to make sure that I bring my dreams to reality, which is number one, make good use of the resources. Like we all know, monies can just fly out of your hands at the little space you, uh, of time you have if you don't actually use it um, professionally and judiciously. So I've actually laid down strategies on what I intend to do, knowing that I like agri-business. So I'll eventually go into the poultry and fishery. For instance, the seed capital is not enough to establish the both of them. Which of them are you going to pick up first? Oh, OK. I, for me, I told myself, OK, number one, I have a space where I can actually start the fishery, but on a small scale. And so that I can just do a practice to see how I can groom myself into the fishery sector, because I have a whole lot of dreams in that aspect. But for, for another start would be more of the poultry because that's where I want to be based on for the beginning also. One word for Fempreneur. Oh, <laughs> Fempreneur has actually added value to my life. And so it's been a good time. Mm, Miss Pekula, it's nice having you at the reception. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm good to go. All right.